So introduction, there are many methods available on, on, on Jasmine and the methods that we use are the scientific analysis servers that allows you to do what is called interactive processing and Lotus, which is the Jasmine batch processing cluster. And on top of this two uh, processing capability, there is we provide common software stack like the J Jasmine analysis platform and other tools among them compilers and library that are available uh, via the module environment. Now, the question comes, how to choose? Shall I go and use a site analysis server or shall I move directly to use Lord of Jasmine? It is better to decide based on the problem size that you have on hand. So is it a small or a large processing task? Does it re what are the resources that you require, the memory, the processing units and what is, is it a panel or serial and also what is it ex exactly you're doing is that some testing development visualization or some proper production analysis uh, workflow so what are the differences between small and large processing tasks so we can group that these two um, uh, well I start with a small processing if your, your problem is considered as a small processing task, then we suggest that you use the uh, site analysis server. If you are running your processing task is a serial or sequential task that doesn't need no more than one single uh, processing uh, unit, CPU or core, so it, there's no parallelism. And it doesn't need more than one hour of uh, usage, you know, the, the wall time or the runtime. And it has a limited memory of what we'd say a maximum of two, two gigabytes. And you're doing it. If you're, if you're about to migrate to Lotus, we would still advise that you use the site analysis server as a staging for your test and prototyping to estimate the resources you need for your job. Now, moving to the second type of problem size when it's larger processing. So we advise that we use Lotus. If you're using any, uh, if your large task can be divided up into subtasks and you can run that concurrently, efficiently in parallel, so you speed up. And also, if you're using some parallel programming model like uh, MPI or message passing interface, OpenMP, or message passing interface for Python, MPI for Core, or any multi threaded that need more compute power, so that should be run on Lotus. And any high memory requirements for your job you should use a Lotus. So why are we specifying this? Because you can't use on a shared machine with other users. That can affect other users um, too. So they, since we are in, in, in talking all about Lotus, and um, we encourage users, as I said, to test prior to use Lotus. And um, Choosing which site analysis server to test, it's good to know what are the uh, capability of those site analysis servers. So you cannot test um, a job that runs at a certain amount of memory on a shared site machine because you're going to affect other users. So an example here, so the, the site machine, the Jasmine Sci1245 and the Sem Sci1, they are all eight a multi-core, uh, eight, um, well, eight core machines. And each size server, size set, shares a memory of 32 gigabytes. Well, we have as well a site analysis server with high memory, which is around so two terabytes. It's just in size three and same size two. So these are the ones that you can use to test prototype before migrating or, or putting your code to Lotus. So how do you know which one to use? Once you log in uh, to Jasmine through the Jasmine login node, login one, you will, be, you will have a message of the day displayed that which shows here on the table, gives you all the host or the site analysis server on, on available, and it gives you the average load in them. And one thing to pay attention to is the, num the uh, CPU usage on the, on the right and the free memory on those hosts. So you can choose which one to go and test your, 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 your processing task. So these are very, very uh, useful links um, uh, that you can uh, review later, which are part of the um, documentation. 
Now, the next topic is when to use lotus. A big question, and you know, you know the problem side, but we're going to go more in depth when to use lotus. So if you have tasks with specific resource requirements, the four specific resource requirements are listed as starting with the compute power, how many cores, the, the memory, the size of the memory that your, your job uh, or your task needs, how long this the task will consume this memory and compute power, which is the CPU time. And also, in some cases, your code will run on a specific uh, CPU model, especially in the case of compiled languages like Fortran and C, that are very kind of sensitive to um, floating points, uh, flo floating point, uh, art art mix. So why do you need to specify? Because it's, as I said, it's a problem, it can degrade performance um, for other users. Also, the uh, um, parallel and se sequential processing using those libraries, because if they are using compute power, um, they're using some libraries for, for passing communication between process that cannot be done on side machine. And you can also have non-parallel codes, sequ uh, sequential codes, that needs to run for longer and use high memory. So then use Lotus. More on more complex workflow is when you have a workflow management utilities that you want to run, like the Rose, Rose Silk. So Rose Suite would run just on Lotus. You cannot run it on the site um, um, analysis servers. And if you have some repetitive processing that you can make run all parallel, then it is a good idea to consider uh, um, changing your, your doing some arrangement on your data, not on the code, because I'm showing here an example where you have the same code that need to be run on a set of data files. Then it is the same script running on the on the data uh, on, on the set of data mm -hmm. that you can do parallelly, and each process is independent because each process is using a different data file. And you can run it parallelly and efficiently and get your processing task completed. An example like running processing uh, a data file from the uh, SIMIC file um, uh, um, uh, data on the CEDA archive. More uh, on um, Lotus use cases, uh, we have here some uh, examples um, like the uh, HR high resolution climate model. Uh, output data that, that got processed on Lotus and that has um, uh, efficiently accelerated the processing time uh, from three months to one day. We have another uh, application running on Lotus, which is the uh, name uh, is a standalone application to uh, calculate the dispersion, which needs um, a large uh, uh, input uh, of data to be processed, the order or higher than four terabytes, so we need a large, a large, a large memory size to, to put all your file to be uh, um, processed by name. And another, and the last example is um, processing um, um, data from uh, Earth observation uh, product um, that needs um, large input and produce as well as another um, um, large output. So a few more links on this. I would recommend uh, to see to have a look to the first uh, example because that shows how uh, processing uh, um, got uh, subdivided into subtasks, what we call in embarrassingly parallel, and it it was about uh, processing uh, data from the SIMIC file archive and make it run parallel, parallel in parallel and concurrently on Lotus.